Good evening. This is Friday. It's what? It's the 15th. 15th of May, which means tomorrow's the 16th of May. And tomorrow's a Saturday, which means it must be Shatathal on Saturday. And that must mean why I am making a video. So, the first thing on your Shatathal on Saturday list. Oh, here is crazy, man. Uh, is a 20 metre shuttle, okay, with a yoke. So shuttling back over 20 meters, but at either end, here's a catch, at either end you're gonna do some burpees. So start off with 20 burpees, you pick the yoke up, you walk or run or whatever to the other end, you sit it down, you do 18 burpees, you pick it up, you come back, you do 16 burpees, you pick it up, you come back, you do 14 burpees. All the way down until you finish off with a two burpees. In fact, no, you'll finish off with a yoke walk. Two burpees and then a yoke walk. Um, Improvise with a yoke, right? Okay, so this is part of the fun of it, right? Get a broomstick, get some sort of metal pole, metal bar, get a branch off a tree, uh, pull a railing off the fence, I don't know. Uh, get a couple of belts, you know, belt on one end, belt on the other end, and you're gonna hang your weights down from the, down from the branch, down from the bar, down from the broomstick. Um, you might not have kettlebells or, or weight plates or whatever to hang off the bottom of the, the straps. So in which case, uh, get your enemies, slit their throats, get their blood, fill up a, a milk carton. In fact, you'll need two. You'll need one for each each end of the of the stick. A uh, big milk carton, you know, the ones with the handles. Tie it on to your, to your uh, yoke and you've got a really freaking cool yoke then, right? Like, uh, your neighbours will be scared. And that's good. Keep your neighbours on their toes, it's important. So uh, that's for the yoke walk. Uh, next up is our 300 step ups. So if step ups are something that's really easy for you, try and choose something a wee bit higher or go a bit heavier because I want you to do these with a backpack on or a weighted vest on. Now, I appreciate not all of you have a backpack. <clears throat> and I definitely know not all of you have a weighted vest. So you might have to improvise again, part of the fun. Okay, so you might have to um, get a sheep, hold a sheep on your back or a child. Uh, probably not, probably gonna get some sort of object that you can put on your shoulder, like a, a log or, I don't know, something heavy-ish from around your house. Um, a sack of rice, a sack of anything. Back and um, not a backpack, uh, like a whole doll. You could put some stuff in a whole doll, carry it. Uh, so lots of ways. Oh, and if you're really stuck for something to be weighted, just ho hold a weight in each hand. Remember those aforementioned uh, milk jugs with blood in them. Then um, use them. Uh, you can fill them with anything. You can fill them with rice. Boring, but whatever. Uh, then next up, so that's the yoke walk, the step ups, uh, three kilometer run with a weighted vest or rucksack. So you could go straight from your step ups into the run or straight from the run into the step ups. You can do it whichever way around you like. You don't need to do either, of course. Um, same things apply with the, the run. You probably don't want to run with something in each hand. So you'd maybe just have to run without. Yeah, boring. Um, try and carry something. 100 pull-ups, I know, lordy, I know not everybody has 100 pull-ups, and I know I don't even have a pull-up bar, and I've got pretty much everything, but I don't have a pull-up bar. Um, so if you don't have a pull-up bar, well, me too, um, then you're going to have to improvise. So there's some good improvisations. If you've got something a bit like a squat rack, then you might be able to put a bar across, hold on to it, and do inverted rows. So when you're doing your inverted rows, if this is your head and this is your feet, the more you go horizontal with the ground, the harder it is. Okay, so the more upright you are, this is your head, remember, the easier it is you're doing rows. Okay, uh, if you've got rings or a TRX or something, then you could do rows on that. Otherwise, you could do bent over rows. So weights, bent over rows. Uh, 50 wall climbs, oh, usual warnings with wall climbs, do not overestimate your abilities. Um, it's really easy to fall on your head when you do wall climbs, don't. And the reason that you would do that would be because you think you're better than you are. It happens to the best of us. When you're walking your hands in towards the wall, so you start with your chest and your feet on the ground, okay? You'll take a, so this is your feet, remember? You're gonna take, you step up the wall with your feet and then you're gonna walk your hands in towards the wall. Oh God, I picked the wrong way around. We'll go this way around. So this is, this is your head now. This is your, oh, it's so confusing, right? 
<laughs> I get that. Okay, so you're walking your hands in towards the wall. Don't walk your hands so close in towards the wall that you can't get back down. This is where people get it wrong. They can get in, they can't get back out. Okay, so top taps, keep your elbows locked out, okay? So you're going to kind of try and walk from your shoulders rather than from your elbows. Um, maybe don't go any closer to the wall than this, right? So trial it, maybe have a go at it before, before you do the workout and make sure there's nothing to either side of you so that you can jump your feet out sideways if you do need to come down in a emergency. 100 box jumps, again, let's not be silly. 100 box jumps might get tiring, especially if you've already done the yoke and the run or whatever. Uh, I'd maybe start with the box jumps actually if you were putting them in. 100 box jumps, pick a height that you can consistently jump on without landing on your face or on your knees. Neither are good and I've done both. Um, then the 5k row and 10k bike. Pick three, do them back to back. There is no... Uh, if you if you don't set up properly and you take like 10 minutes to move from one thing to the other, you're bad. Okay, this is a triathlon, which means there is transition times. You can't deduct them. If you go for a pee and have a coffee before you move on to the second stage, that's included in your time frame. Okay, so the clock starts when you start the first, first modality and it finishes when you finish the last one. Pick your three favourites or your three least favourites, however you feel like you want to spend your weekend. Of course, tag me and let me know how you get on. I need to know. I need to know. I'm going to have whiskey now because it's Friday and I've worked a lot this week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.